The Kerbalon Project was a dream given form. Its mission, to slip the surly bonds of Kerbal, to explore outer space, to reach for the horizon, to seek to strive, to never fall, to not go quietly into that good night. This is the Kerbalon Project. Hello and welcome back to the Kerbalon Project. Now, I know it's been a while since I've been doing this, but that's uh, various things have come up. Um, usual story, uh, too much work, not enough energy, not enough time, etc, etc. Also, you know, I wasn't doing that well at this game. Um, if those of you who have been watching, you notice that I kept trying to reach orbit and I kept failing. Um, and it's like I've got plenty of fuel and power on this thing, so what's wrong? Well, it turns out what's wrong is how I was flying it. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description below, linking to someone's channel. Because, um, completely at random, I think I think I saw a link there from Kurt J. Mack's page or something like that. And I started watching this guy playing Kerbal on Project. And, well, playing Kerbal Space Program. And this guy is an actual astronomer. You know, he knows what he's doing. He properly knows what he's doing. And... Um, those aren't very even, are they? Anyway, um, and I think I was just doing the most inefficient orbital path possible. So I've been doing some practice flights and some test flights. Um, I even made it as far as the as, um, as far as the moon a few times. I crashed into it every time, but you know this time we're going to go for it. So you know, with my experience, hopefully we'll get there a little bit quicker. Uh, this is essentially the same beast that we had before. Um, I put a slightly heavier engine on there. Um, and I've also made it so, if I've got the connections right, that these four engines and this one will all fire at the same time. But there are these fuel ducts keeping these tanks here topped off. And also those tanks are slightly bigger. Um, so, let me... One thing I noticed during testing is I couldn't thrust backwards. So... I am looking for the thrust ports, if there are any. Where are they? The, l the little rcs -E type ports. S command and control. Hmm. Oh yes, linear ports. RCS rocket port linear. That is... Okay, see, I was able to thrust in all the other directions because I put these little thingies there. And obviously I can thrust upwards by using my main engines, but what I couldn't do was thrust backwards at all. So... Oh, you won't let me put one on there, will you? I can put one there. That's pretty rubbish. Um, hmm. Let's turn symmetry on. Could we just do this? That's a, that's a little silly, isn't it? I lose my aerodynamic nose cone. Avionics package. Structural and aerodynamic. Okay, let's put the standard nose cone back on. Um, we just can't thrust backwards. Um, I don't think I need it for the moment. Anyway, as I said, I didn't want to waste too much time on this. So, there it is, the Star Furry launch vehicle. Let's see how this does. Uh, let me just hit save and launch. Now this is the first time I've played uh, the Kerbalon project on my new faster computer. So we should have a higher resolution and we should have a better graphics and so on. So here we go. Alright, thrust full. Um, SAS on. And stage. Here we go. So let's see how quickly we can get up there. Um, I'll use time dilation as well to speed this up. I do like the new graphics where everything glows nice and red. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit. So I just want to dump my solid rocket boosters before I do anything. They'll get me to about a kilometre. There we go. So now I'm going to be moving a lot slower for a little bit. So, this is a good time to actually start my orbital bank going a little. So, let's tip over ever so slightly. 
make sure I've got sensitive controls on. There we go. Just a little bit. I still want to mainly be gaining height. Um, but I want to make sure that my surface speed is already going up and going up in the right direction. Uh, might have been a little too early. I could always re uh, re readjust it, but... But I think I will, because my direction of travel is slipping over to the side quite a bit. But I may already have messed this up. I've had to turn RCS on. I've lost control. I should have gone straight up a lot more. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. Uh, let's turn off sensitive controls. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Okay. We're aborting. We're aborting. Um, let's cut all thrust. And... Separate. There we go. We should be able to control this thing at least so these kerbals don't die. There we go. Oops. Let's rest our downward direction. <laughs> Cut thrust and let's just go for a landing on this. Let's call this a staging test, shall we? <laughs> now, I could even practice landing. Um, yeah, let's let's call this a practice landing test, shall we? So, the best way to... Oops. Yeah. Quite got these controls worked. There we go. So if I just thrust in the opposite direction of travel keep doing that and that should be reducing my surface speed actually I want to get over this land a little bit more oh, 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 pull up pull up pull up pull up pull up pull up okay there we go all right now I just have to slow down, reduce my surface speed, watch my altitude, if I'm going up still. Right. No, that's increasing. <laughs> See, this, this is the sort of manoeuvring I have to do on the moon. I need to reduce my surface speed, so I want to get that down. Ah, okay. Hmm. This is trickier than I thought it would be. <laughs> We're plunging to the surface. But this thing's got pretty powerful engines on it and plenty of fuel. There we go. So, what I need to do is reduce that. Oh, oh, it's all turned around. That's the problem. Okay, we're just going to bail on this. Let's get a bit of attitude. And we're bailing. There we go. We'll drop the landing legs on that as well, and we should be fine. <laughs> that should be a nice spectacular explosion just below us. Hopefully no debris will come up and hit us. There we go. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we tested the staging, at least. Um, I've got to go straight up before I do my orbital bank. I need a lot more speed, otherwise I just start slipping sideways. <laughs> so much for quickly getting to the moon, eh? And let's see if we can get down without blowing up. There we go. Three happy Kerbals. Oh, we didn't say hello to them. Alnard, Kerbals Kerman, <laughs> and Samrik Kerman. Okay, end flight, end flight. Ah... Uh, Let's go to the Space Center, and let's go straight for a relaunch on this. Here we go, SAS. Come on, give me control. Okay, SAS on. And go for it. Right, let's just go straight up. <laughs> let's go straight up until about... 10 kilometers, then I think the atmosphere should be thin enough, we should have enough speed. 
See, this is what I need, is practice actually flying. I think my design is fine. It's probably a lot more complex than I need. Just waiting for... there we go. I mean, one of the things I noticed on that guy's channel, and the reason why I'm not saying the name of his channel is because his channel doesn't have a pronounceable name, as far as I can tell. It's just like a jumble of letters and stuff. But anyway, um, he flew to the moon, landed, took off again, went back to Kerbal, and then landed on the surface of Kerbal. He didn't use a parachute, landed on the surface of Kerbal with only seven stock parts. Yeah, seven. <laughs> Had like three tanks of fuel, two engines, a decoupler, and a command pod, and that was it. So if he can do that, you know, this thing should be <laughs> should be a lot better than I've been doing it. Okay, so we're up to a nice uh, we're up to three and a half kilometers now. I'm going to speed things up a bit until we get to ten kilometers because as I burn fuel, I get lighter, which means I go faster, which means I should then be able to start my orbital bank. So uh, five kilometers. Fuel tanks are emptying. What I like is it's not really wobbling or anything like that. I'm going to turn in the direction that my orbital bank's going to be. Because it's going to be off in that direction, isn't it? There we go. We're going faster than 100 meters per second straight up now. This is good. Okay, there we go. 10 kilometers. So, let us try angling over ever so slightly. Just want that on the 90 degree line, off to the side. There we go. We're going to keep it at that. We're going to sort of slowly increase the angle as we approach 20 kilometers. And then once we reach 20 kilometers, because my... See, that's already... Well, that's at 16,000, doing pretty well. Uh, see, we're into we're out of the thicker part of the atmosphere, and we're into a slightly thinner part now, and we're starting to go up really quickly. This is what we want. I mean, if I go here now, see that's up to twenty-two thousand already now. So we're at twenty thousand. So I'm going to bank over to about forty-five degrees. Come on. Try and keep it on that 90 line as best I can. Up a bit, up a bit, up a bit, and we'll lock it there. Now this is where it's sometimes in danger of tipping over too much, so I turn on RCS a bit. That helps keep us pointed in the right direction, see? That's what the RCS fuel is for. Turn that off, because I think we're now going fast enough. That's at 52,000 going up. Uh, the orbital speed needs to be about 2,200 meters per second in order to get a decent orbit. As long as that... Okay, that's going up out of the atmosphere nicely. Once that's... I want that to be... I've got to make sure that I'm out of the atmosphere properly. Once that goes to about a hundred, I think I'll cut thrust. See, this thing has a lot of oomph. Okay, cutting thrust. Now that is coming down. No, it isn't. It's staying at 997, which is nice. There we go, all nice and silent. So, I will... When I get up there, I'm going to want to be thrusting in the direction of... Come on. Okay, let's turn off sensitive controls, because the gyroscope's a little... This is a very un, um, unwieldy craft. Let's give the rockets, there we go. It's very unwieldy in this configuration. Get it on that horizon line. And stabilize. Use the rockets to get us in position. Turn them off. And when we get to 997, I'll start thrusting again. Because that's our highest point. 
when we're, let's, let's say 995, which is pretty close now. So, uh, thrust, there we go. Let's try and keep us going nicely in the direct, in the direction of travel. Whoa, 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 okay, lock it there. And we should push that apoapsis ahead of us. And that line should should start to go around the planet nicely. It's now getting up to 105. That's like 50, sec uh, 50 seconds away again now. Whoops. There we go. So 107. This is basically, I w I'm trying to save fuel in this thing as much as possible. Is it out of fuel? Okay, we're now out of fuel in this thing. Which is good, because I don't want this thing stuck in orbit. So... I am going to stage. Whoa. Thrust a little bit to get a bit of distance. And now this thing's a little more maneuverable. So let's get us back on target. Because we must be pretty close to that. Yes, we are. So we thrust. There we go. Now you can see this thing is really pushing it around now. We've gotten rid of the heavy weight. We've got five engines firing. And we've just got to kick that round the planet. So... Okay, I don't want this to get too high. So I'm just nicely controlling this. And it's all about the numbers. Oops. So, uh, my, so I want to thrust again when I'm approaching 109 kilometers. So I can just use that thing there. Make sure that I'm nicely accurate on that. I'm getting ready to thrust. Oops, no, a little more. And, we've, and as we're going around the planet, of course, that keeps re-aiming. So there we go. I can save a bit of fuel by not thrusting at full power. The engines get a little less efficient when you do that. So I just want to keep that apoapsis ahead of me. That's at 109. One oh four, one ten. Good enough. Okay, we've got an orbit. Uh now I wanna check on my fuel tanks because that's my RCS fuel. Because these fuel tanks up there, yep, are untouched. This is this is the plan, is these fuel tanks here are going to drain as we go to the moon and as we slow down. And then we're going to dump that at the last minute. And then we've got four fuel tanks to land on the moon and return to Kerbal. So what we need to do now is check our orbit is nice and straight and level. So let's get the moon's... Ah, come on, right. I just got to get the moon's orbit in like that. And that's pretty much perfect. Oh, I like that. That's a nice circular orbit. And it's the right level. So, uh, which way around the planet am I going? I'm going that way around the planet. Uh, the time to thrust for the moon is just after you see it come over the... Well, just as you see it come over the horizon. So, what we need is a nice camera shot like this. <laughs> And we'll re-aim. Turn on sensitive controls now, because this thing maneuvers a lot better than it did before. And I'm going to guess it's going to be into the planet a bit, isn't it? I mean, by the time we go round, it's going to be about there, or even lower. Let's get this spaceship right side up, shall we? Let's just do a little roll on this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a pretty spaceship. And see, I, I do use SAS as a stabilizer quite a lot. It's oops, too far, too far the other way. Okay, can I do a roll on this? There we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up time until we see the moon rise. Because we are there. We're going around the planet this way, and we'll see the moon rise as we come to about there, I think. 
So, let's, uh, no, we're not thrusting, we're speeding up time. There we go. Okay, I can't maneuver while I've sped time up this much. Let's go a little faster. We're just going to slow down time the moment we see the moon pop up. I also might slow down if we end up pointing too far out of our proper direction. Okay, let's re reorient ourselves because I want to be ready to thrust as soon as possible once I see the moon. So let's get this down here a little bit. And we'll speed up time. Um, no, I'm hoping to get to the moon pretty soon. Come on. Where is the moon? Okay, it won't let me walk faster than times ten. Should be coming up any second now. Hello, moon. Look at that. It's like inland lakes and so on. No idea whether or not you can see my mouse pointer right now. Speeding up time, waiting to see the moon. 